Hi everyone, let's begin Strata. In this video, we are going to run structure equation modeling. How we have to run structure equation modeling with the help of Strata. So let me select a file. Let me open a file. I'm just opening a file. This is my pre-existing file that is ev.dta and I'm just open. And now you can see variables are visible on the right hand side. So now I want to perform a simple structure equation modeling with the help of mediation variable. And let's say I, you can see variables are here on the right hand side and simply we will go to statistics and we will go to this one is structure equation modeling and model building and estimation. A moment we will click here, a new window will appear. And this is basically a, we are calling it canvas. And what we have to do, let's say I would like to modify this canvas so I can do that, let's say. This is 100% uh, is the smaller and let's say I would like to zoom it 200, right? And I want to increase, let's say I need more bigger. So simply I have to click here and let's say I am going to press here 8 or 7, whatever I require. So it is increased. The size is increased. So now what I have to do, let's say I want to create my constructs and this is my one construct. And this is my second construct and this is my third construct. And this is my independent variable. I will deselect it. Now I would like to connect all these things with the help of the arrow, right? This is my first arrow. And this is my, this arrow. And directly I would connect my independent variable with to the dependent variable. This is my independent variable, dependent variable and my independent. This one is the mediating variable. And I want to put the values, right, variables. So I would select already, this file is already open. So I would select EC1 and this is my one of the variable. And mediating, let me select, this one is my mediating variable. I will press OK. And this is my third variable that is dependent variable. Let's say I would select it, this one is open. And now all these three variables are here. So now I would like to perform estimation. Either there are two ways. Either you have to select this one is estimate. So I would select this estimate, right? Or there is the one more way. Here is this is the sign where you can run this, these estimates, right? So here is uh, simply you will go there and press here estimates. And here is now you can see model maximum likelihood, right? So simply that is the by default it is speeded. And I would press here. And now all these values are here, right? And there is the error term is automatically generated, right? There is no need like in other softwares like Amos, IBM Amos, we are creating and we are giving this, um, this one is the error term. And uh, here is automatically it will take it. And all the values are here, 0 0.3, 0 0.14 and 0 0.6. And now you would like to see, what is the detailed explanation of all these variables? So simply what we have to do, we will select this. And now you can see, I just want to show you. These are the detailed tables you can see. And uh, this one is the, what syntax is working behind this? I just want to show you. Simply SEM, EC1, GP1, right? And EC1, B1, BI1 and GP1, BI1, and uh, here is no caps latent. And here is, we will run this statement. There are two ways. If I would type here in my comment section, so that would also run. And this is the, uh, these are the values. Those are reflecting here, right? Structure, GP1, EC1. Now coefficient value, you can see, standard error, you can see, Z value. And p-value also, you can see 95% coefficient and interval and all. These are the, this is the significant. This is also significant. Now you can see p-values were less than 0 0.05. And uh, all these values are significant. So uh, this one is all these values also on the higher side that is greater than 1.96. So automatically we can say all these values are significant, right? So our other variables also we can see because number of observations also reflecting over here, right? So I would explain you in my next video how you are get the RMCA, how you are going to calculate all those uh, or goodness of it, etc. So this is the one way how you have to run 
uh, structure evolution modeling. So I hope uh, you can understand and stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you.